There are a lot of reasons why we should protect our oceans. They give us oxygen, they regulate our climate. Our oceans give us food. But what's really going on is we've turned our oceans into a plastic smog. We set out with a mission to research plastic pollution in all five oceans and then leverage those findings back to land to drive solutions. We began in the North Atlantic, was our first expedition in 2010. Did the South Atlantic, across the Indian Ocean, the South Pacific, Chile to Easter Island, then up to North Pacific. Finding microplastics in 21% of the planet's surface. Out there in the oceans, you really can't even identify the product because it's so broken down. I mean, how do you solve the problem with this? I can't point to a company. I can't point to a country. You got to get closer to land, into our, our rivers and lakes. So we went into the Great Lakes doing the same research, the same methods that we've used in all five oceans. There we could point to a country. If we found something, Canada and the United States share those waters. We began to find these small, perfectly round little spheres. One third millimeter in size. I had never seen that any place else in the world. We had a hunch what they were, went to your local pharmacy, we got the facial scrubs, the one that even say microbeads on the front, put them through a sieve, and there they were. They matched. Polyethylene and polypropylene. It's a designed microplastic that goes on your face, down the drain, out to our rivers, lakes, into the ocean. The ocean surface is not the final resting place for microplastics. It's settling to the seafloor, but it's also disappearing via the stomachs of animals that consume it. A tiny particle of plastic the size of a microbead may look like a fish egg for many different organisms. Each one of these particles of plastic is like a sponge for contaminants, things like PCBs or DDT. Many different toxic chemicals uh, can be absorbed by plastic in the ocean. It's not just, you know, one bird, one whale, and one fish. It's ecosystem-wide. They're eating all those plastics that go up the food chain back to you and I. Whether or not we're a fish eater, we all depend on the oceans for health. Everyone has a local lake, stream, or river, or a watershed that they care about. We can change our throwaway culture, the way we treat each other and the environment and make it much better than it was last century. You can start with these facial cleansers and toothpastes. With these microbeads, these designed microplastics, which you cannot recycle at all, that's a design that needs to be changed. And that starts with us and our purchasing power. So zero waste your plastic footprint.